Hey guys, welcome back to Owl's Nest Woodcraft. Uh, gonna spend a few moments today uh, walking you folks through how to uh, grab an image uh, from online. I know right now we're uh, coming up on Halloween season, and so I'm gonna walk you through how to grab an image uh, from online and uh, turn that into a um, cuttable document, a cuttable SVG uh, file through Carbide Create. So I'm gonna start by uh, Doing a little search here, and so I've got a uh, a few things pulled up already, uh, just so that we can get started. And so uh, I've uh, searched for a free jack o' lantern silhouette, and so uh, I've got uh, some of these. You can come through. You can pick any of these uh, kind of things that you want. Um, uh, but let's just take this one because it's uh, from the clip art library, and. Uh, it's free. So I'm going to start by hitting right click on this image and hit save image. And then I can title that, uh, I'm going to call this scary uh, Jack O' Lantern. I'm going to make sure it goes to my desktop so I know where it's at. I'm going to hit save. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into, uh, I also have a laser. And so one of the programs that I use is Lightburn. Uh, so I'm going to use Lightburn to um, modify this image or, or to capture this image. So I pull up my Lightburn software. I do an import right here. I'm going to find Scary Jack-O-Lantern. And I see that guy right there. I can resize it a little bit just so that we can look at it. Okay. So this is in Lightburn. Okay, now I'm going to right click on this image and there is a, sorry, I need to select it. And then I'm going to right click it. And then there's an option here that says trace image. So I'm going to trace that image. I'm going to hit OK down here at the bottom. And it gives me that outline. Okay, so I'm wanting to create some of these lanterns on uh, uh, on my Shapoko, and uh, uh, with that, I don't necessarily need the outline of the pumpkin, um, but I, I do need uh, the inside pieces to it. So I've uh, captured that, I've traced it, and now I want to make it a SVG file. So I'm going to hit export. And I'm going to call it Scary Jack O' Lantern. Again, I'm going to hit save. I did want to replace it because I already had it as a, a PNG file, but now it's going to export as an SP, SVG file. I'm going to hit yes. Then I come down to the bottom and I pull up my uh, carbide create. Okay, so I do an import again. I'm going to find my file down here at the bottom. I think it's down there. I'll just start typing. I don't think it exported. File, export, SVG, Scary Jack O' Lantern. Uh, it was because I left that PNG tag on the bottom. And so you got to remove that in order for it to go to an SVG file. Uh, I left it as a PNG. Um, and so that's why it didn't export correctly. Let me go back into this. Import. There's Scary Jack O' Lantern. Wow, look how big that guy is. All right, I'm going to uh, group elements. I just uh, click that box right there. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to resize that onto my board. Okay. I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to, uh, I need to take those apart. I don't want them all to be grouped any longer. 
I'm going to click the outside of that. I'm going to hit delete because I just want the, uh, the outside of this guy. I want to regroup those. And then I want to center the image. Now I have a file ready to cut out on my Shapeoko. Uh, I can then go and add a toolpath. I can highlight that. I'm going to hit toolpath. Now I'm using a half inch uh, cedar picket fence. Uh, boards and so they're only 5.5 inches wide uh, but they're a half inch uh, thick so I'm going to put 0.51 as my max depth I don't necessarily like using tabs uh, but I know in these instances I have had bits broken before uh, because I have small pieces that get loose and dislodge and when they dislodge it knocks against that bit uh, traveling at a high rate of speed and and uh, uh, it breaks it so uh, I want to be cautious with that and and so uh, I put in these little tabs uh, I don't necessarily like using tabs but uh, at the end of the day uh, I like using tabs uh, a lot more than I like breaking bits so I hit OK I'm gonna hit OK again and you can see that this toolpath is going to take approximately 17 minutes to cut uh, and uh, that eighth inch bit will get up into these grooves uh, pretty nicely. If you wanted to go a little bit deeper, uh, you know, you might switch off to a sixteenth inch uh, bit, uh, but we can do a, a simulation. I'm going to switch this over to uh, pine just so that we can see what it looks like. And there you have it. That's what your cutout will look like uh, whenever you do uh, the path. So I'll unclick that just so that you can see uh, what the end result might look like. So hopefully you've uh, uh, learned something as I walk you through how to take that image from online, uh, convert it to an SVG file, and then import it into uh, Carbide Create so that you can get your lanterns uh, cut out. So I uh, hope you guys are uh, having fun in the shop uh, as uh, fall approaches, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.